you're going to go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. Apparently, Jay-Z decided to cancel his pre-Grammy celebration in order to remove Diddy from the invitation list. Could this be Diddy's plan to expose the Grammys, as well as other individuals working in the industry? Beyonce is currently experiencing feelings of embarrassment. And before we get into the craziness that is Diddy, let's first discuss how Jay made his wife feel uncomfortable. While Jay was accepting the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award, which had been founded in the year 2023, he took the opportunity to call out the Grammys as he was accepting the prize. Furthermore, he mentioned that Beyonce is deserving of the Album of the Year honor, something she has never been able to achieve. As a point of reference, Beyonce has achieved five separate nominations for the award of Album of the Year. I Am Sasha Fierce was the first one, and it was released in the year 2010. Another year later, as a featured artist on Lady Gaga's album, The Fame Monster, the following year. Following that, she was considered for the award of Album of the Year in 2015. After that, in 2017, she was considered for a nomination for Lemonade. In addition, the most recent nomination was for Renaissance, which occurred in the year 2023. Certain individuals were of the opinion that Lemonade, in particular, appeared to be an album that would undoubtedly win the award for Album of the Year. When Beyonce discussed the emotional impact of Jay-Z cheating on her, as well as how she addressed generational sorrow and racial unfairness, we can all agree that she really ate. Let's not even begin to discuss the manner in which she combined several musical styles, including electronica, reggae, rock, hip-hop, soul, funk, and country music. On top of that, the accompanying visual album was absolutely wild. Adele was the recipient of the award for Album of the Year in that particular year. Adele also stated in her acceptance speech that if there was the one person who deserved Album of the Year, it was Beyonce. She repeated this for the second time, but I am unable to accept this honor under any circumstances. In addition, I am extremely flattered, appreciative, and gracious. But Beyonce is the artist who I admire the most in my life, and the Lemonade album was a truly monumental album for me. This was such a momentous occasion, Beyonce. As well as being so beautifully and emotionally resonant, it is very thoroughly thought out. In addition, we are grateful that you have allowed us to see a different side of you, which is something that you do not normally allow us to witness. Jay-Z is entirely in agreement with the notion that his wife has been ignored for an excessively lengthy period of time. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. Some of you are going to go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Beyonce should have been awarded Album of the Year at some point in her career, according to him, and he made it abundantly apparent that he is of this opinion. A great number of people, including Jay-Z, find it absurd that despite the fact that Beyonce has won more than 30 Grammys, she has only won one of the big four categories, which consists of Album of the Year, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best New Artist. This is a fact that has been criticized by a number of individuals. 2010 was the year that Single Ladies was named Song of the Year. However, except from that, all of her other victories have been in genre categories, which does not appear to be sufficient for both her and Jay. When Beyonce was not nominated for Album of the Year, it is commendable that Jay made the statement that he did. It was rather astute. I just wanted to let you know that it does not appear that the other people did not deserve it. The fact that Taylor Swift was the one who won Album of the Year once again, however, is what caused it to become such a big deal. It is Taylor Swift who has been awarded the Grammy. It is also being said that Taylor was such a disgrace for taking her Grammy from Celine Dion's hands without even looking at her or giving her a hug. This is something that is being spoken in the streets. In light of the fact that Celine was even able to be there, despite the fact that she was going through a lot of difficulties, some people are suggesting that she ought to have expressed her gratitude for receiving it from her. This is in light of the fact that Kanye West, 
once pulled the microphone away from her hand when she was giving an acceptance speech, assured her that he would wait for her to complete, and remarked that Beyonce's single ladies video was among the very finest videos ever created. There are some individuals who have stated that it is irrelevant that Beyonce did not win Album of the Year, despite the fact that the Beehive may accept Jay's viewpoint. A good example of this is when Whoopi Goldberg stated on The View that the fact that Beyonce has won more than 30 other Grammys makes it irrelevant that she has not won this particular category. When Bay has already won so much, it is a negative look for Jay to defend his wife while he is speaking even though he has the right to talk about whatever he wants during his speech. Other people agreed with this sentiment. If she were consistently overlooked for the majority of prizes, then he might have had a point. But this is not the case at all. Beyonce would undoubtedly have a chance to win if she were to compose the music and words for a full album, according to the opinions of some individuals. It is quite unlikely that she will ever be successful as long as she continues to sample the work of other musicians and insists that 3,000 people compose the lyrics to a single song. When Jay-Z stated that Beyonce should be awarded Album of the Year, there are a lot of individuals who could disagree with him, but there is one thing that we can all agree on. He was correct about that. There are some individuals who were in fact robbed, while there are others who did not deserve to be included in any category. It's 2020, y'all, yeah. yeah. and it's different than when it was 2016. There is no doubt that Lana was assaulted. Did you all know that Jay-Z reportedly canceled his Grammy brunch in part due to Diddy? Anyway, awards aside, did you all discover this? According to the rumors that are circulating, Jay-Z was unable to figure out how to remove Diddy from the invitation list for the party. In addition, he made the decision to call off the party since he was unable to just tell him the truth and face him. Clive Davis, who, by the way, has made it quite plain that he stands by Diddy, was meant to be Diddy's designated companion at the party. It appears that Diddy had planned on attending the party. Jay-Z, on the other hand, responded with a, nah, sir. It is not going to happen that you are bringing such ridiculous stories to my party. Apparently, Jay-Z has decided that he does not want to have any more involvement with Diddy. Close friend of Jay-Z, what was your reaction to him opening up? You know, once you're ready to share it with your fans in the world, then nobody could judge you. Jay does not want to have anything to do with Diddy because, as we have discovered, he is a ship that is sinking. The situation is made even more intriguing by the fact that Blind Item reported that Jay-Z had organized an entirely different private party, one that did not include Diddy on the invitation list. That Diddy has been cut off by Jay-Z is not something that should come as a surprise to them, child. It is not possible that we are talking about the same individual who sold out and excluded his business partner at the time, Dame Dash, from the Rockefeller Def Jam agreement. It is the same person who threw Kanye West to the wolves after using him to revitalize his rap career, Diddy who was already in a precarious situation at that moment, was going to be cut off by him, as was only natural. Even though he was nominated for Best Progressive R&B Album for his album, The Love, Diddy did not show up to the Grammy Awards. While they made it appear as though it was Diddy's decision not to attend, it is probable that the organizers did not want him to be there for obvious reasons. Diddy's representative stated that he would not be attending the event. According to the allegations, a number of influential individuals, including a number of prominent African-American members, were concerned that inviting him would convey the incorrect message to groups of people and to a variety of charitable organizations. In addition, it was said that a number of publicists requested that their artists not be seated next to him, and the invitation of him was a logistical headache. But do you know what else? According to Blind Items, Diddy is actually plotting to eliminate as many individuals as he can with him behind the scenes. This is another version of the story. Well, it seems like the music world is buzzing with drama. Beyonce and Diddy sure know how to make headlines. It's always interesting to see how things play out in the industry. Do you really think this Jay-Z was right for standing up for Beyonce? Or could this cause another problem? Your thoughts on these are welcome in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be the first to know when the next video is up.